Good afternoon to all of our tele-travel agents all over the U.S., Canada, Mexico, and everywhere else in the world or where you guys are. Or if you're joining us perhaps on the West Coast, it's good morning to you. Um, this is Tara Minson, your marketing director here at IntelliTravel, and I'd like to uh, welcome you to our live customer service webinar for you. Thank you, everybody, for taking uh, the time out and joining us this afternoon or this morning. Um, I know you have busy days, and you're here to ask the important questions. The purpose of this webinar is to help answer any and all of those questions regarding your home-based business with IntelliTravel, and it's all completely live. So it doesn't matter if you are new or you are a seasoned travel veteran, an agent veteran. Um, we all have questions that at one point or another we need help answering. So starting off the new 2016 year, we actually would be looking to do these webinars every single Friday afternoon for you perhaps. So if there's a specific question that you have during the week or something you've always wanted to, to know or see for yourself, then here you have the opportunity to see it firsthand. We are here to answer all of those questions in this hour webinar. And if there's something very specific that will require some follow-up or perhaps additional research on our end, then a customer service representative will get back to you within 48 to 72 hours, just simply by emailing them. So remember that we are always uh, have our weekly training events for you as well. Every single Tuesday night, our live webinars with suppliers, and Thursday night, our training conference calls. Every single week, 9 p.m. Eastern time. So get your questions ready. We're going to use that question box found on the control panel at the right-hand side of your screen there. You can submit questions at any time during the presentation. And we're going to read and answer as many as possible throughout. So while everyone's getting their questions ready and typing them in, I'd like to, to kick off uh, this afternoon with a very simple reminder of some really important uh, tools. So uh, one of the things that we pride ourselves on at IntelliTravel is education and our customer service standards. So in order to keep those high standards, we ask that before you pick up the phone or, or your computer uh, to ask the question, make sure we haven't already answered it for you. So after all, we've been doing this for 25 years now. So we've been asked a lot of questions. So our advice is read your quick start guide first. Uh, take a moment and read your training manual located in your Teletravel back office there. It is very detailed and robust guide, and it will answer a lot of questions for you. If you don't still have your questions answered, then go to the agent FAQs in your back office as well. And lastly, your Intel tutorials are an excellent source of a visual answer for you on supplier topics and tours and every marketing tool and demonstration available to you. So and at that point, if you still don't have your questions answered, which I would be surprised, maybe it's a very specific question, um, then of course, email customer service at IntelliTravel.com, and they will be happy to help you as best as they can. So, I'd like to get started. Uh, first, I'd like to introduce our amazing customer service team members that have taken time away from their busy days as well and their busy desks uh, to help answer all of your questions this afternoon. So we have with us this evening, this afternoon, sorry, we have uh, Winston Dennis and Jessica Sidomer from the Delray, Florida office, which handles all of your uh, agent operations um, and agent issues there. So you maybe you spoke to them or maybe you emailed them already, but um, I'd like to officially introduce and welcome Winston and Jessica for, for joining us this afternoon. Hi, guys. Hi, Tara. Hi there, everyone. All right, so you guys ready? Did you have like your extra dose of coffee and uh, an espresso this morning? Oh, I don't need any coffee. These agents get me excited enough. We're all fired here. Great answer questions. Yeah, I just want to let everybody know Jessica actually started this webinar before we uh, started live singing. So she, she clearly had the ample amounts of uh, coffee and espresso for us all. So, <laughs> um, all right, so I'm going to first uh, just – before I ask the first question, because I see them literally piling in right now, I'm going to first start with just a very simple um, demo right now. This is your, when we, we talk about your agent back office, your virtual office, and you want to log in, um, all those tools and resources that we're talking about, your back office, and here's how you get there. When you first joined IntelliDouble, you got a, a welcome email. That welcome email consists of a PIN and a temporary password for you. You can change that password anytime you want. I'm going to show you where to do that. Um, but your PIN is your IntelliTravel identifier. That is how we, your host agency, identifies you. So suppliers, that PIN means nothing. Um, to anybody else, it really means nothing. That is how we identify. That is your login for everything IntelliTravel and your 
identifier for everything intelligent. So when we say go to your back office, this is what you're going to do. You're going to go to your agent login right here. You're going to click on that login menu, and it's going to open the login field. Here is where you enter your PIN. Now, eventually, at some point, you will get to memorize your PIN, um, you know, like you did your social security number. Uh, so this is uh, the PIN. I don't want to close your eyes, okay? I don't want you to read my password. Um, and this is a uh, test account that I'm actually going to show you. So you're going to enter your PIN, you're going to enter your password, and you're going to log in. And then, voila, this is your back office. Okay, so um, everything in the back office, all the agent menu, we're going to you know, hear us constantly reference your agent menu, your back office. Here it is. A really quick and easy uh, top nav. Um, Top nav that actually shows you uh, very um, easy uh, tools and quick links for all of um, the tools and stuff that we're going to go over. So uh, that's when we reference agent menu, reference back office. That's what uh, that's what you're going to look at. You cannot break anything back here. I highly suggest you go in your back office and you click on things, you learn about things, you read things. Um, there is nothing back here that you can break or. Um, uh, you know, somehow mess up or anything. So, so it's here for you for uh, a lot of reasons. It's a source uh, for all of your education. It's your source for even updating your account and profile info, which we're gonna we're gonna get to, I'm sure. Um, so, um, I just want everyone to be familiar with uh, what your uh, homepage looks like. So, let's um, let's get those questions fired away. You guys ready over there? We are ready. All right. Uh, okay. So, uh, first question is, can we have access to Stream for hotel bookings? Is it available? It's available on Agent Universe, but I can't seem to access it. Hi, Jara. This is Winston. I'll be happy to take that question. So, we don't utilize the Stream program that's offered through Agent Universe. And the reason for this is because we have our own exclusive hotel booking engine right in your back office, which have exclusive deals just for IntelliTravel. And additionally, when you book through the IntelliTravel booking engine, you can book virtually any hotel and it registers in your back office automatically. So there's no need for you to do the commission tracking or registering of bookings on your own. It'll automatically be done for you. Therefore, we always recommend to go through your, the booking engine to book your hotel. Excellent, um, excellent answer. Okay, next question is, do we get commission on conferences, hotel packages, question mark? Um, do we have a uh, picture uh, ID? Do we have to have a picture ID card um, to get these rates and commission? Okay, Tara, I can take that one again. So if you're booking um, a hotel for a conference, typically there's not a commission if the hotel is offering a conference rate. So you do want to confirm that before you make the booking. And also, when you're booking for the conference, if you book a conference room, that can be commissionable as well. You just want to check with that specific hotel to make sure they will pay a commission on it. Some hotels will, and some will not. And then moving on to your second question, do we have to have picture ID cards? No. ID cards are not required. Um, you can book anything utilizing the agency IATA ART number and CLIA numbers. However, if you are interested in obtaining an ID card, and I think this will answer a couple other people's questions as well, you can apply for a CLIA ID card and a CLIA individual agent membership. It is $49, which is an exclusive rate through IntelliTravel.com. And if you would like details on how to apply for CLIA, you can email customer service at IntelliTravel.com to get a detailed instructions on how to register. And also it's available in your back office under the education link. So if you go to education, it'll show you all the steps to registering with CLIA, where you do receive what they call an Embark card through CLIA. And again, it's $49, which is a special rate just for our IntelliTravel agents. Uh, yes, and I'm actually going to just uh, elaborate that on one second, Winston, because um, you just you, you mentioned CLIA. Uh, there was a webinar that we recently did a week ago, a week or two ago, my weeks and days are blending together. I um, highly recommend that everybody watch that webinar. It's live in the Intel tutorial section, um, which is right down here. You click on the Intel tutorial section, um, and it's a, a live clear webinar. Highly recommend you watch because I got to tell you, um, we've been doing this a long time. I actually learned a lot um, from that webinar. So um, 
it's uh, right over here. You click on more suppliers and it's the top one right here, alphabetical. Um, it talks about the uh, registration process. It talks about, and I actually see some questions in here as well about that, so um, I'm going to answer it, but it also talks about transferring your CLIA agency from a former agency that you're with to IntelliTravel um, without having to pay any additional fees. Obviously, if you've already um, organized enough and you've already got your 2016 membership worked out with CLIA and you've already registered, so um, how to get a new ID card and everything at the Embark card. So all of that is there. I highly recommend you watch that webinar. It's just a little over an hour, actually, um, but um, but it was great. I got to tell you, I really learned a lot, too. Um, okay, so let's get back up here. Okay, next question is, why can't uh, a couple have one account? Great question. Jess, you want okay, to I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to take this one because many of you couples have received emails from me personally, so now you know who you're getting them from. Okay, this is a legality issue for us. So only one person can have an agent's account with us. And I'm going to compare this to a driver's license. Now, let's say you and your spouse want to go for a ride. One of you has a driver's license, the other one doesn't. So the one who doesn't can be in the passenger seat, and they can invite people to come for rides with them. They can tell the driver where to go. But legally, they can't drive the car. It's the same thing for us. You have one legal agent, if you only have one of you enrolled, you can mark it together, you can have your website with both of your names on it, both of your picture on it, and both of you can talk to as many people about it, and you can go and work in the back office together. However, when it comes to a travel agent rate or anything that has to do with being a legal travel agent, only one of you can have that unless the other one decides to become an agent as well. A uh, great question, and yes, think of it just like a driver's license, a license to sell real estate. You know, um, your spouse may help you and everything, and that's great. Um, but um, but it is one person that is licensed uh, with the fin. You can also give your spouse access to the same back office and everything, um, which is fine. But when it comes to uh, account and uh, your profile with us, your actually account information, we need to have a legitimate one first name, a legitimate last name, um, etc. Your website. It's something different, um, and we're going to probably get to that because I see some questions on that. Um, next question, if I am coming from another agency and have a booking with a, my prior agency, can I get that transferred to IntelliTravel? Great question. Okay, I'm going to take that. Uh, so when you have another booking, you can ask your prior agency to transfer it to us. Uh, they are not legally obligated to do so. And what you can do is ask if you will still be paid commission on that. And our hope is that they would say, yes, I know that with our contract with IntelliTravel, you can book a $10,000 trip and then leave the next day. We hope you don't, but you could, and you would still be paid commission. I mean, that is how we operate as an organization. So there are some vendors that will help you transfer. You can call the vendors and ask how to transfer, but just know that if your prior agency says no, technically you did use their booking engines and their tools to book that um, that travel, so they do technically own the booking. But we do hope that you will get commission on it. Um, okay, great. And there is actually that question is uh, pretty often, so uh, thank you for that. And asking the question and, of course, answering it, Jessica. Um, is there a way to create group, group codes for hotels? And I would kind of answer this a little broad because so I'm not sure exactly what, Sharon, you're specifically asking if it's a specific hotel and, and whatnot. So if you want to ask, a, answer this a little more broad, um, Winston, then that'd be great. Or Jessica, whoever wants to take this one. Okay, no problem, Tara. <clears throat> So first of all, if you're setting up a group with the hotel, you would need to contact the hotel directly to put that group together with the hotel. And most hotels, um, well, major hotels do have a group department. So you can speak with their group department and work alongside them getting a group set up at the hotel. Additionally, you'll see um, group rates or group code rates in the IntelliTravel booking engine. And that's just an exclusive offer from IntelliTravel that we have at certain hotels throughout the year. So be sure to go through and review all the rates listed at every hotel as you're making the booking. And Sharon, if that didn't answer your question, if you want to elaborate more on what you were wanting to know in regards to this, 
during the webinar or email customer service at intellitravel.com and we'll definitely be happy to follow up with you. Uh, Sharon responded, she said, it did answer it, thank you. <laughs> Glad to be of help. Of this immediate technology, okay. Uh, who do we got? Um, Uh, well, Sharon's got a follow-up question. Uh, if so, if Intel Travel has a lower rate, can we use that as leverage? Sharon, um, I'm, I believe I understand what you're saying, but if Intel Travel has the lower rate, it would make for the hotel just to go ahead and book it on Intel Travel's website. I don't think they would go lower because we do have some of the best rates in the industry. Right. It would be my recommendation just to go ahead and book through IntelliTravel. But if you do see that rate on our website and you're more comfortable booking over the phone, you can definitely call them and tell them that that's the rate, the rate available online, and they will honor it. I'm reading the next questions. Okay, uh, are commissions only paid by check or is there a direct deposit option? Okay, so commissions are paid via a check. There is no direct deposit at this time. Okay, there's a few on that. Um, Oh, Kesha, okay. Uh, I tried to access the call last evening and clicked on the link and it showed the phone number and it kept being busy. Um, I do apologize. I got an email this morning that apparently our phone provider system was having issues last night. Um, so I do apologize if there was issues recording it in the beginning, but we did end up actually recording um, the full conference call last night. But uh, I understand based on her email this morning that there were actually playback um, issues on you when uh, you guys were trying to log in last night and actually playing the call for us. So um, I do apologize. It will be hosted again in your back office. Um, so you can actually listen to the call. Um, Kesha, go to the back office, go to the uh, Intel tutorials link and you can actually um, listen to the, the calls there. So I do apologize if anybody did have issues logging in last night. Um, I got the email this morning, the same as you, that there was um, problems with um, the audio and everyone was getting either busy signals or they were hearing nothing. So I do apologize. It's, it's rare it happens. Um, I don't remember where they are actually, but we had some really bad uh, storms here last night um, over here on the uh, East Coast. Okay. Um, where do I find the group codes for IntelliTravel? Okay, I'll take this one again, Tara. So if you're speaking of group codes, I believe you would be perhaps referencing for booking a cruise. IntelliTravel does offer um, group space on several cruise lines, and all of this is available through the IntelliTravel booking engine. And all you have to do is in the promo code field, you just type in IT for IntelliTravel deals. I'm, I apologize, there's no F on that, Jessica just reminded me. IT and deal. That'll, <laughs> that'll pull up every um, group space we currently have booked, and we're always expanding that, so always be sure to follow up and recheck because we all are always adding more group space for you. Uh, great question. Um, just to follow up on the Thursday night uh, conference calls, yes, they are recorded and they're in that Intel tutorial section. There's a few questions there that was sort of confusion. So yeah, the Thursday night live training calls are actually recorded and they're in that Intel tutorial section, Matisha. Um, okay, so is it okay? This is a good one and, and if you guys don't want to take it, I don't mind taking it, but it's a good one. Um, is it okay to copy a promotion and post it on my Facebook page? Yes, you guys definitely go ahead and take okay. that one. Okay, so um, awesome question, Carmen. Thank you for asking. Actually, there's a few questions very similar to um, you know sharing um, you know supplier offers, and there are hundreds of suppliers out there. There are thousands of offers by each supplier. So what we do for you is we actually make it very easy for you to find, utilize, recycle, and use all those offers, especially by a preferred partner that we know is a, a, a preferred partner of ours for all the reasons, because they offer you the best service and customer service and, and commissions, but also because they are a reputable, trusted brand, and the offer is a great offer. So you go to your back office site, there's hot deals link, 
um, the hot deals over here, on your personalized website, all those offers are also there for you. So those are the offers that we highly recommend you, you recycle. Those are great offers, many of them include customizable flyers, um, they include all the information you need. Um, so yes, by all means, if it's something you're seeing on, on that IntelliTable is providing you with, you are welcome to share it. And you easily can copy and paste it, and then you know that you actually have all of the information so that you're not worried about you know, missing something or missing the, the price for this. If you're copying and pasting it, chances are um, it makes it easier. There's no errors that you will have, and you're welcome to share it on your personal Facebook page. You can also go on the IntelliTable Facebook page, uh, as well, Carmen, I hope you guys are, you know, already following IntelliTable's Facebook page because we often put a lot of offers on there um, with you. And of course, Facebook to Facebook, it's even easier just to literally click a share button and you can actually share it on your personal um, page as well. So um, you are welcome to do that. And it's just, we just try and make it easy for you by, um, by you know, not having you vet and go through all of your emails and every single supplier's website to find those offers. We give them to you very easily. And if we're giving them to you in any one of those methods, you are welcome to share it and post it uh, however you'd like. Um, Okay, sorry, I have to read while uh, I couldn't read and talk at the same time. Okay, next question is, when using our booking engine and selecting the vacation tab, are those considered external bookings since it, it directs us to register with these partners? Um, that's a great question. I'm going to give it to one of you guys. Ben? Okay, sure. I'll be happy to take that question. So, yes, when you click on the vacation path, um, tab in your agent back office, it does give you a list of our preferred suppliers that offer vacation packages, as well as other suppliers which offer vacation packages as well. And when you click on the um, supplier, it's going to take you to the supplier's agent portal where you can book it. So yes, you would be booking this externally from the IntelliTravel booking engine. So you do need to go back into your back office after you make the reservation and register the booking. And this brings up another question which I know a lot of people are asking about is the supplier registration. Yep. And we are getting an email out that's going to inform you every single supplier that you can register yourself with. So if you see that supplier where you can register yourself, go ahead and do that and begin booking. If it's a supplier that requires IntelliTravel to register you, just go ahead and send an email to customer service at IntelliTravel.com and list the suppliers that you need to be registered with. And IntelliTravel will go ahead and get you registered and set up so you can begin booking there. But just to highlight again, always remember to go back and register your booking after you make it. That way we know when we receive the commission that that commission belongs to you. Or if we receive any correspondence from the supplier in reference to your booking, we know that information needs to get directly to you. And that way it gets to you as soon as possible. A uh, great answer, great reminder, Winston, about some uh, important information. So uh, again, just the time in here, the email that Winston is talking to you about, we try to email you um, we don't we don't email you five times a day. We don't email you with junk. We email you with important information, and that's a perfect example. We realize that there's a lot of questions on um, agents asking about how to register with suppliers, so we create an email. So that's kind of why it's really really important for you guys to watch and pay attention and read your emails because we are only emailing you with important information that we know you're asking for. Um, so um, look out for that email. It's going to be in your inbox uh, beginning of next week. The latest, and we're also going to have it uh, in your back office for you to uh, access and have the ability to, to look at every single supplier that you should be registering yourself with. Um, okay, this is a good question. Um, you answer the supplier question. Thank you. There's a lot in here. Uh, this is a good question. How do I arrange for a group of 10 people for a home to port or airport transfer? So looking for a group transportation. Go ahead, Winston. I'll take that question. So again, like all of our questions pretty much say, if you go in your back office, and I believe it's labeled car rental partners or preferred car partners, you'll see a partner called Carry International, and it's also called Carry Passenger. They will be able to set all that up for you by contacting them. Also, additionally, when you book the cruise, be sure to request information regarding um, Port transfers because oftentimes the cruise lines can accommodate that. But if they don't, definitely utilize carry passenger and you will receive a commission on that. Uh, great, uh, great answer. 
Uh, another question here is, I have trouble logging, signing in to, with CLIA, signing up with CLIA. Is there someone at the office who can help me? Um, Henry, I highly recommend you watch that webinar because maybe there's something that you're actually doing wrong, especially if you have uh, maybe a previous registration, if you've already registered once and you don't realize it or you forgot. Um, even so, I highly recommend you uh, watch that CLIA uh, webinar because actually, uh, Charles went over in detail the entire sign-up process with CLIA. So um, it might be really beneficial. You might learn actually a lot more um, by watching the webinar too. So definitely um, make sure you watch that webinar. If you're still having trouble, of course, you know, email customer service. But um, I would be shocked if your answer is uh, not answered by that uh, by that webinar. And I just um, want to add, Kara. Kara, I just want to add that you can go into your back office and under education, click on CLIA. And then look for the link to sign up to there because I did see a question on here that said how to sign up for $99. We're $49 because of our level of membership with them. So you want to make sure that you go into your back office and sign up through that link to make sure that you get the $49 price. I mean, when they see that you are affiliated with IntelliTravel, then you will you'll get that rate. But just so you know, we do have a link to make it easy for you in your back office. Yep. And there it is. Um, <clears throat> uh, great question, Lisa. How do how do you know the difference in booking externally versus and with IntelliTravel? When do I know that this booking requires me to go to my back office and register that booking? Great question. Okay, so when you book something outside of your booking engine then we have no idea you've done that. That's when, so when you book directly with a hotel, directly with a car rental place, directly with a cruise line, then you need to come back into your back office on the left-hand menu under agent menu, it's going to say register my bookings, and you're gonna fill in all of the information that's required as well as attach any booking documents so that we will then be able to see when your commission check comes in, we'll know that it belongs to you and it's attached to you. So as long as whenever you do not book through our personal booking engine in your back office, that's when you want to register your booking with us. Great. Uh, oh, and um, I'm going to show you guys the registration link uh, really quick to register your booking link. Right here. And this is actually what it looks like. It's very quick and easy. And it's... Uh, can take you all of you know five minutes, not even, to actually fill out. It's just all the important information, and the really important feature right here is the uploading a document. Um, so choosing you know a file right here, that's where you upload the document, um, which is the confirmation of your booking. Every supplier, no matter how you book it or what kind of supplier, provides you with some sort of um, email or a PDF um, attached confirmation. It's really important for us to to get that because it really helps us uh, to track down and get you paid faster. Um, Lots of questions on this webinar being recorded. Yes, it was going to be recorded. All of our webinars are actually recorded for you in the Intel tutorial section again, so um, you can listen to it and watch it at any time. Um, uh, this the same question here, but uh, as a new agent, I've read the training manual, but didn't find anything about which vendors require IntelliTravel to give us our username and password. Um, again, so look out for that email, Bobby, and um, you will have the information for you, but uh, some of them do require um, IntelliTravel to register and approve you, but there are plenty that you can register on your own first. So that's gonna come out to you. We're gonna give you the direct link to actually do that um, and a quick little uh, cheat sheet for you. Um, uh, is there a section dedicated to condos and villa rentals? Okay, Tara. Yes, there is. It's a company called VBOS. And if you email customer service at IntelliTravel.com, we'll send you the direct link on how to utilize their program. And you do have to ensure that each condo or villa you are booking is offered at a commissional rate because they do have some with them that are not. So be sure when you email customer service at IntelliTravel and get the link that you review all of the um, different condos and villas to make sure that specific one you're booking does offer a commission. Um, okay, great uh, great question. Um, Tracy, I'm going to ask for you to elaborate on your question, please. Um, having access to certain site 
that you now don't have access to. Can you please elaborate on that here? And I'd love to answer that for you. Um, but it just needs a little clarification. What site are you trying to access? Be a little more specific if you could. Um, next question is how do you combine flight, hotel, and rental car? Okay, so to combine hotel, flight, and rental car, um, on the IntelliTravel booking engine, you do need to book those all individually. However, they will automatically register themselves, so there's no additional steps. The next thing I would recommend if you want to book them all together in one quick booking would be to utilize FunJet Vacations, which is available through Vax Vacation Access. And they do have a great selection of um, packages there for just your air, hotel, and car. So I would definitely look on um, IntelliTravels first and see about the pricing for booking those individ individually. But if you're also interested, you can definitely go to Vax Vacation Access and book through FunJet, and they can do a package still there for you as well. Yep. Uh, our package and tours that is that exactly that, that one-stop shopping. FunJet, uh, GoGo, they all make it easy where you can access everything um, booking in one place. Uh, great question. Is there a client information sheet we can use to assist our clients in booking their vacation? Um, awesome question, Ginger, and this is something, um, another example that um, was brought to our attention. You guys ask for things and we, we create them for you. Um, and this is in the work. We are we're working on creating a client information sheet and giving you access to it and putting it in your back office site so it's kind of um, a standardized form that you can use um, for just that reason. We did not have one before. Um, you know, formally, and it is now being created. So uh, keep an eye out for it because it will be uh, available for you to do it. Uh, great question. How do you transfer a vendor certification from one host agency to another host agency? Okay, now your educational certifications are your own. You are an independent travel agent, and you earn those certifications on your own, so they go with you wherever you go. That's all I have to say about that. How, how, <laughs> how do we obtain a CLIA card? Okay, to obtain the CLIA card, as Tara has mentioned several times, you should definitely watch the CLIA webinar that was aired a week or two ago. And also, if you go to the education tab in the back office, there are instructions for applying for CLIA, and it is $49. So definitely go ahead and do that. And once you've applied, if you applied, this month or before the beginning of January, those cards typically go to come to the IntelliTravel office here around mid-December, and then we forward them to your home address directly. So once you register, in about two to three weeks, we'll be calling you to confirm your mailing address, and we'll get that card mailed to you as soon as we get it here in the office. Is there a commission on FAM trip bookings? Okay, Garrett. No, there's no commission on SAM trip bookings because those are discounted specifically just for you. However, what you most likely want to do when you're doing a FAM trip is go ahead and get um, travel insurance, trip insurance on your FAM trip, and you can earn commission on the travel insurance. So that's always a good thing to do as well. Um. Sorry, bear with me. There's a lot of questions here. Um, I've registered with Sandals, but I haven't received my approval. Uh, how long should it take typically? Okay, we actually just spoke with Pedro over at Sandals because we were having a backup, but we have a system now in place, and daily he is being sent the people who are requesting it, and daily he is getting them registered and we then go in and approve you so it should be happening on a daily basis starting today i know it was taking a while for some people but we rectified that situation and called them directly oh good question is it necessary to register with the state of florida as an agent i can take that Tara. Uh, this all depends on where you reside. If you reside in the state of Florida, we'll actually send you a letter, so you don't need to go ahead and do anything on your own. You can wait until you receive a letter from Intel Travel 
So for right now, that's not something you need to worry about. If there's anything that you need to do ever that involves Intel Travel, we will notify you via email. So always be sure to read all the emails from us because they do contain important information that we're trying to get to you. Um, <laughs> okay, uh, sorry for the, the log. I'm trying to read. There's a lot of questions that are kind of similar. I'm trying to combine them to give you guys one question. Um, Disney said that you have to be a travel agent for two years before you can register with them. Does that stand true with us being an Intel travel agent? I'll take that one again, Tara. No, you do not have to be a travel agent for two years to be registered with Disney. What you can do is go to DisneyTravelAgents.com and you're actually able to register yourself. And then within 24 to 48 hours, IntelliTravel will approve your access to Disney Travel Agents. However, to access Disney Travel Agents cruise inventory online, you do need to send an email to customer service at IntelliTravel.com and we will set up your permissions to be allowed to have access to the cruise portion of DisneyTravelAgents.com. <clears throat> How do you book a tour guided trip to Europe or South America? Book the trip, tour, and flight. I'm comparing to companies like Gate One Travel, etc. I like that question. I'll take that one again, Tara. So this is something you would want to use one of our preferred tour operators. So what you can do is re review our preferred um, tour package operators in your agent back office underneath the vacation tab in the booking engine. But I would recommend perhaps using Talk. I know you can do airfare through them, but also Gate One is a good example that you can utilize. You can look on backs for certain things like this. There's so many options for booking these types of guided tours. But I would definitely review all the vacation package um, suppliers in your back office to find which one's really going to fit your client's best. Uh, great answer, Winston. And yeah, that vacation tab, actually all those uh, that Winston mentioned and then some um, are preferred and then some are actually all there as well. Um, speaking of, great question, another one. Does Intelligent have a vendor for things like shows, football games, or concerts? Talk about relevance. Yes, we do. <laughs> so there is an option available through Agent Universe, which is Vacation.com's agent portal. And Tara, I believe you know the specific names of those two. Yep. So um, again, this is another one of those examples that you ask and you help, you will receive. Uh, but Intel Travel has uh, locked in a deeper, you could always book them and get commission, but a deeper partnership with Golden Tickets, for example, um, because it was one that was specifically asked. Um, from our agents. So Golden Tickets is actually now located in their booking engine. Go to the Vacation tab and you'll see the Golden Tickets uh, link right there. And it gives you access and information um, on how to book all of those uh, great show tickets and football games and um, sporting events and concerts. Uh, there is also going to be a webinar uh, with our um, trainer from uh, Golden Tickets and that is on Tuesday, December 1st. Um, so join us Tuesday, December 1st, 9 p.m., and you can actually get an inside glimpse uh, of uh, everything that Golden Tickets has to offer you. So, Next question is, can we book a hotel for a wedding or dinner conference and earn a commission on that booking if there are not hotel rooms booked? That's a great question. Yes, of course you'll earn the commission as long as it's not being booked under the, like, conference rate or wedding rate, which is already a pre-discounted rate due to the size of the group booking at the hotel. But if there's no group established or anything like that, yes, you can definitely go ahead and book at the hotel and receive your commission. Just be sure you attach the agency information at the time of booking if you're not booking directly on IntelliTravel's booking engine. Uh, what is the difference between a CLIA card and an Embark card, or is there any? Okay, there's, there's no difference between the CLIA card and Embark card. CLIA renamed the CLIA membership card to the Embark card for the year 2016. So there's no difference between the two. It's just a change of name. So it's now called an Embark card, which is it's offered through CLIA just as the CLIA membership card was. So it's the same card. It just changed the name. 
And on the webinar, he explains what Embark stands for and how they're building their brand and making it even more spectacular. Um, so again, we're pushing for that webinar. Ten points uh, for anybody who actually remembers the full detailed name on it. It's actually crazy. Um, actually, Charles had to remember, look for, look it up himself. Uh, next question is: Do we become a travel agent from just signing up with Intelldevil, or do we actually have to do testing and get a certification? Great question. I will take that. So you become an agent the minute you sign on with us. That said, we want to make this experience exceptional for you. So we are putting together 15 three to five minute videos on different parts of being an agent, on what IntelliTravel has to offer, on marketing tips. So that is going to be, by the end of the year, available to you. It will be about an hour long to watch all of them, and you can do it in your own time. And there will be a couple of questions to ask, and then you will be technically certified with IntelliTravel. But it's going to be really fun and informative. I'm really looking forward to bringing that series out for you. Um, Winston, can you re repeat the condo and villa information, please? There's a few people asking for you to repeat that. It is VBOS. And when we send out the supplier email with registrations, we will include that on there as well because there are specific instructions for you to register yourself. When we send our clients to our booking engine, they have to sign up and register. When will that change? Because people are used to going to other booking engines and being about to begin booking without having to do all that, will you guys ever change that process and allow your clients to be able to go and freely book? I'm going to take that one. Um, first of all, we are doing everything we can to protect you and your clients and to make sure that everyone is connected to you. Now, on the more sophisticated sites like an Amazon, let's say, you do have to register and be able to use it. And so you, they only need to register once, and this way you know that the travel agents, they are now connected to you. And therefore, they are now automatically connected to your site. You don't have to worry about them working with another travel agent somewhere within a company, let's say. So I would encourage them and put a positive spin on it and say, you know, this is so that I always you know, know that you're part of my team and I can always be looking out for you. So they sign in once, and then they have a username and password, and they just have to hit already registered, and they'll be on. So something that will only take them about a minute to do will help you as the agent keep them connected to you. And we think it's a really positive thing, and that's why we like having it there for you. And it also, again, it puts us in that branding category with the higher, more established companies. We've been around for 25 years, and we're really proud of the reputation we've built, and therefore, we want to stay up there with the high names like Amazon and people who do this. We're following best practices in the industry to protect you and your clients. Um, any idea when Sandals and Beaches will be offering certification in the North Carolina area? Uh, Leslie, I recommend you go to um, www.sandals.com forward slash T-A-S, T-A-S, and um, you can actually get the calendar event there, and you can get a listing of all of their entire calendar of where their um, sandal certification courses are. And they are all over the U.S., so um, you can definitely go there and, and look, at, uh, look at that calendar. Um, can you add trip insurance for a custom group travel package? Yes, yeah, you definitely can. You can go in your agent back office and click on the Insure It link, and it will then take you to the Travel Insured website where you can get a quote or book the insurance right there, and that will automatically link to your agent pin and get registered in your agent commissions report. But be sure you go through the Insure It link in your agent back office and not just directly to the Travel Insured site. You definitely need to go through the Insure It link in your agent back office. Um, there's questions here, a lot of questions here actually on um, vendor registration so that they are transferring vendor registration so that it shows to IntelliTravel because um, when they're registering and trying to register IntelliTravel it's saying that they're already registered 
uh, with another company. So you want to take that question? Okay. Um, we are very aware of customer service and answering calls all day about this, and therefore we have brought on extra staff to handle of people needing their their transfers. We understand how important this is to you because this is how you book your travel. So you know, I know that you've been sending in emails. Know that I see a couple of questions. How do I register for AG Universe? How do I register for VAC? You can call us here at customer service, and anyone who answers the phone will be able to answer. Will be able to register you right then and there. Um, but if you have those longer lists, I know you've been emailing them to us, and we are getting them to you as quickly as we can. Um, anyone that you can register yourself for, as you heard from Tara, you're going to be getting that email, and, and it will give you the directions. But anyone that we have to register you register you for, simply send that email to customer service at intellitravel.com and we have brought on more people to get those to you as quickly as possible. Awesome. Um, is there a commission on theme park tickets? Yes, there's a commission on theme park tickets. Just at the time of booking, be sure you ask for the commissionable rate. And additionally, if you call over the phone to the theme park to book the ticket, they might direct you to a travel agent portal where they must be booked to be commissionable. So always be sure to confirm with the specific theme park to ensure you're booking the correct way in which they take commission. Okay, thank you. Winston, can we send clients directly to IntelliTravel to book and still get commission? I can answer that. You can send your clients directly to your personalized website and they can book there. However, if your clients call into the office, we'll be happy to help them, but you actually have to be the agent of record and complete the booking for your clients. We cannot book it on behalf of you because you're the agent of record and you're their travel agent. But yes, if they have a specific question and don't reach you, they can give us a call and we'll be happy to help that the actual booking needs to be initiated by you or by them via your personalized website. Ah, I like this question. Is IntelliTravel a home-based storefront or host agency? I don't think I've ever been asked that. IntelliTravel is a home-based host agency. However, you can go visit Winston at his home if you'd like. Um, Absolutely. What is the steps used to have a teletravel match a travel booking? Okay, so to match a travel booking, you must book through the back office engine first and have apples to apples, not apples to oranges. So you want to make sure that you read through our price match guarantee very, very carefully because in order for us to even consider looking at a price match, you must book first through our engine. So sometimes people are misled by the deals that they're seeing online because there are other offers happening within that that does not make it an apple to apple. It makes it an apple to orange and then what's going to happen is you're going to find that it doesn't qualify for the price match. So read the directions very, very carefully. If you have questions about it, call our customer service number so they can help maybe look at it with you. Um, but just know that unless you actually book it through your booking engine, it won't even be considered for a price match. It has to be booked through your booking engine first. And then make sure you have screenshots, as many as you can, to prove that this existed, and as you'll see with flights, with hotels, with cruises, there are different um, things underneath the price guarantee that will show you what is required. So read that carefully. There's a lot to read through. So. Yep, and uh, there's actually also going to be uh, also live soon on the site is going to be a form where it's going to be very easy to you, for you to actually um, fill it on the on, in the on from it fill in all the information um, so we can actually take a look at everything you have. Um, and uh, determine whether it is, like I said, an apples to apples. It's a very strong statement we stand behind. Um, and that is because of our relationship with our preferred partners, 
we are always ensured to get you the best price. So um, it's a strong statement that we stand behind, and uh, there will be a form there. It's easily accessible for you to actually submit anything, but you need to make sure you um, are reading all the fine print um, because that is often the biggest, most common mistake. And you know, third-party vendors, a lot of these OTAs, they're getting better and better at hiding stuff from you. Think you're getting a better price and deal, but you're actually not. Um, this is a question, do we receive an invitation for the link for the Thursday night webinar presentations like we did for the Tuesday? So the Thursday night um, is the conference calls, not webinars, John. And that phone number is for the Thursday night, it's a dial-in. So it's just audio, it's like a radio show um, done for you. So it's audio, not a webinar. You don't receive a link or anything. You can kind of, you know, listen to it, you know, while you're um, in the car driving or on the couch watching TV, whatever it is. But um, it's, it's Thursday night, 9 p.m. That number to dial in is in your back office in that calendar events there. It's 916-233-0554, and you're going to enter uh, guest code 2635. That is the same phone number every single Thursday night. Um, so, you know, put it in your phone, in your contact um, list, and you'll uh, always have it available. So that's Thursday night. Tuesday night are the live webinars, and those are the ones that you get the email link uh, to register for from GoToWebinar. So Tuesday night training webinars, Thursday night training conference calls, and again, all of them are archived for you. Um, uh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna, there's a lot of questions I'm going to be answered or repeated. Uh, how do I book a train ticket? Okay, I can answer that one too. Okay, so to book a train ticket, first, it depends who you're booking with. For example, Rail Europe, you can register with them directly and book through there. Or if you want to um, book an Amtrak ticket, you have to book it a specific way in order to get that um, turn the commission on you. You can't just book it directly on Amtrak's website. If you would like the direct link for booking with Amtrak, please email customer service at intellitravel.com. It's a little bit of a long link, so that way if we send it to you directly, you'll always have it. Uh, I wanted to ask, when we're registering for training for some of the vendors, the question being asked is, what is our GDS slash CSR? If you need to utilize or input a GDS, you put in Amadeus, it'll be listed in the drop-down menu anytime you're asked to enter that. And there's only a few suppliers that ask that you enter that. <clears throat> what is the ARC slash IATA number? ARC is the Airline Reporting Corporation, and IATA is the International Association of Travel Agents. They are credentials that we are that we use that show that we are a travel agency of them. And the IATA slash ARC number is included in your welcome email that you received when you enrolled with IntelliTravel. Or if you do need another copy of that email or any other type of copy of email that you've, we've sent you in the past and you've lost it or don't have access, definitely email customer service at IntelliTravel.com or give us a call here in the office. And uh, obviously the CLIA number you use for all of your uh, cruise bookings and IATA ARC number is what you use for all of your non, other, you know, other travel uh, bookings. And that is your industry identifier that acknowledges when you make that booking under those two numbers that is Intel Travel and that it is um, where the commission check should go so that we turn around and get it back to you. So it's really important to remember those numbers. Um, Can you please elaborate on the questions on couples registering? Okay, so you can operate as, you know, there are a lot of travel agencies back from when, I'm aging myself now, back from when I was young and we actually had stores that we walked into where there was an owner of the travel agent and she had, an, and she had a license to own that agency and her agents would have to be licensed. Now there may have been an agent or so in there who wasn't licensed, who was an intern, and that person was not able to physically book travel and make commissions off of it. 
we are now, you know, when when the child trauma started 25 years ago, this was groundbreaking to have an agency online. So because we're online, we still have to fall within those legal boundaries. Now, if anybody was ever a part of a company that didn't adhere to that, um, this might take a little getting used to because we follow the, the, the laws very closely and it's important to understand that one, you, you can have two, tra like both of my parents are in tele-travel agents, both of them. And so they both pay a monthly and they both enroll. Uh, so they can both sell travel, they can both receive commission checks and they both give in their social security numbers. Now, if only one person wants to be an agent and the other one wants to help with the marketing, they want to help in the office, they want to be out at dinner parties and talking about it, you can market it, you can share a name on a website, you can work as a team, but that, that commission check can only be sent to one person and with, with a social security number. Now, I did see a question about... Um, businesses can you sign on as a business again we need your name we need a person's name however like myself i have and i have an s corp and this person has an llc you can have your payments made to your corporation to give us your ein number but still we need a person's name in that first and last name field so I hope that makes it clear for you all. We're not doing this to inconvenience you. We're doing it because it's, it's a legal license to be a travel agent, and we can only give it to to people who are registered as agents. Great, uh, great question. There's a lot of questions here. Guys, please be patient. We're trying to answer all of them, um, but uh, there are over 200 people on this webinar, so there, there's a lot of questions. Uh, this is an easy question. Can I charge a service fee? Okay, thanks for asking that question. You cannot charge a service fee through IntelliTravel Booking Engine directly, and we don't have that because commissions are already built in and you're, they're already getting a paid a commission. And for certain things like hotels and airfare, if you're charging a service fee, you're not going to be competitive in the industry because you're upping a price that already has a commission for you built in. There are certain websites that do allow you to add on a commission such as when you book airfare through back vacation access, you can add on a commission there. Um, this is a question, there's actually two questions here, but uh, regarding this, I'm going to answer it. When someone clicks on the hot destination icon on my website, they are taken to the booking engine and not the location they selected. Um, that is being changed and it's in the process of actually being redesigned and, and altered. So that hot destination link um, is going to uh, turn into something else. So yes, right now it's going to redirect them to the booking engine as far as destination uh, booking question goes. Um, but uh, thank you for noticing that. There's actually two questions on there on that, so that's why I wanted to answer it. Um, but it is going to be um, fixed and changed soon and morphed into something a little uh, better. Um, transfer my registration with the world um, and set it ready. Will this webinar be available for replay? Yes, we were told. Um, if they book, if a customer books on your personalized website, when do commissions show up in your commission report? When one of your clients book via your personalized website, the booking will show up in your commissions report 24 to 48 hours after the time of booking. So wait that 48 hour time period and then you'll see it in your back office under the commission's report. Um, <laughs> if you guys see a question here that you want to uh, answer by all means, but I'm trying to go through these and organize them so that I can get one question uh, that answers two or three in here. Um, at what point do you have to register your booking? Right after you receive the confirmation from whatever supplier you um, made the booking with. Because oftentimes, once you make your booking, there can be additional, additional correspondence from that supplier. And IntelliTravel is the agency of records. So oftentimes, they will contact us and say a booking number 
And if you haven't registered with us, we have no way to direct this supplier to contact you to give you the important information they need. So as soon as you make that booking and you get your booking confirmation, make it outside of the IntelliTravel website, you need to go register it as soon as possible. That way, oh. if you contact us, we can say that that booking is yours and we get you that information to you as soon as possible. Uh, so, okay, so there's a few questions here on Agent Universe and also um, the IntelliTravel Post Office. And I'm uh, because of, of time here, I'm actually going to end this webinar soon. I really want to keep this to an hour or less. Uh, but I would highly recommend that you guys also go to the, there are Intel tutorials on this. But this is that the uh, IntelliTravel Post Office link. But there, it, it's a very uh, in-depth, um, actually, answer. So I don't, I don't want to, you know, answer it only halfway. Go to the Intel tutorial section, and there are several vacation.com um, webinars dedicated to just post office, to just the cruise space program, to just um, Agent Universe uh, login and um, a demo. So I highly recommend you look at it because there's no way that I can actually really answer the question or anyone could really answer the question for you. Um, but it's a great tool and a resource and a partnership. It is basically your entire marketing department for your home business is actually built and designed um, and free for you. So you can opt in to amazing you know, programs and campaigns done by vacation.com from direct mail pieces you know, you're not sitting there licking stamps and stuffing and paying these ridiculous, you know, printer fees. It's all done for you. Direct mail, through email campaigns, um, you name it. There is a ton of tools and resources. So I really, um, it's an amazing program. I really think you guys should all definitely go and back in the back office and watch those webinars um, because they are still relevant. They are still important. And it's a great program for you to opt into and start your 2016 off with an incredible marketing plan already mapped out. Um, all right, so I'm 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 gonna kind of I'm gonna end this because I really want to kind of keep this for an hour. So I understand some of you guys are on your lunch hour, some of you are, you know, morning um, morning time frame. Um, but again, we're gonna look to do these often. There's definitely gonna be another one before the end of the year. Um, but starting off 2016 especially based on how this has been going. Um, we're going to look to do these maybe on a weekly basis every single Friday for you uh, because we want to help you. We want to we help you with all of these questions. You are emailing customer service, and there are some questions in here that I saw about um, not getting a response from customer service. I ask you just to be patient. With any kind of growth, with any company, um, there are you know certain wait periods. We are still within our customer service standards. It is still a huge priority to us. So if it doesn't take 24 hours and instead it takes you know, um, 48 hours, I just beg you to be patient with us because all of your questions will absolutely be answered and answered, you know, and fully. Um, so, um, you know, please just uh, give us a little bit of leeway, but that's what these actually webinars are for as well. Um, again, as a reminder, a lot of your questions that you may be asked and asking and waiting for customer service and ask for you may be already answered. So go to your quick start guide, go to your training manual. I mentioned several times that until tutorial section, Go there as well because there is a ton of answers in webinars um, for you. You might even have a question answered that you didn't even know you were ready to ask. So I highly recommend you do that. Um, and uh, agent FAQs, again, if you have the question, chances are I bet you somebody else asked that question too. So um, by all means, please read that as well while you're waiting for customer service to get back to you. And then um, you may even be able to learn some other great things um, as well. So um, again, I just want to do really quick reminders. I already see people like are, are running off and that's fine. I just want to do some really quick reminders. Again, I'm sorry this is over an hour, but two really quick event reminders talking about education that I really want to um, hit home with right now. There is another great learning event um, coming up. There's always oh, going to be more added, but two I want to focus on right now. First is um, we're talking about vacation.com. They have their 18th annual international conference and trade show. May 22nd through the 26th. It's at the Diplomat Resort and Spa in Hollywood, Florida. It is a great education conference for you. Um, talk about, you know, learning. It's networking. It's seminars. It's think tanks. It's one-on-one uh, -on -one, um, education and, uh, and meetings. Um, great charismatic power speakers as well that you can learn a ton from. Um, really great dynamic general sessions. Of course, a great trade show. Um, it is a great event. We always say if there's one event that you pick and choose to go to, this is the event you should go to. Um, so every single major supplier and major, major brand will be there and represented. Um, there is also a great uh, discount that Intel Travel Agents have that actually was just extended as well. So if you go to register for the vacation.com event, which, by the way, there's an email on it. It's also in your calendar events, your back office, um, with the link. But if you register for it, you're going to enter in the code INTEL, 
59, I-N-T-E-L 59, and you're gonna get a discount for just $59. Everybody else is paying, I think, $129, and Telltale the Agents is $59, and that is just until November 30th, so definitely make sure you register for today. Um, also, in case you missed your emails, we've got a great uh, educational FAM coming up in Punta Cana. It is an all-inclusive educational FAM exclusive for Intelligent Agents um, at the Club Med Resort in Punta Cana. So if any of you guys missed the opportunity to meet us in Jamaica and hang out with us in Jamaica, and that was a super aggressive event, um, this is, is only three days. It's June 6th to the 9th. And there's some nice downtime in here for you, but it also is a great education, jam-packed education experience for you. Um, at the Club Med Punta Cana Resort. Uh, they've just updated the resort. They've got that awesome creative um, area, which is the Cirque du Soleil uh, school. So um, who knows, maybe we'll even see you guys up on the flying trapeze uh, there. But just one forty-nine per person. And that covers all of your costs except for airfare. Meals, beverages, um, education, room, you name it. Uh, so check your inbox or details uh, for that. Um, you can email customer service and they can shoot you back a registration form. There is limited space. It is first come, first serve basis. So make sure you uh, jump on that opportunity now. Um, I think that about sums it up for us. Again, I want to thank you guys all for taking the time to join us here. I apologize for going over the hour. I promised an hour, and I apologize, but um, these will get shorter, I feel like, as you know, more of your questions get answered. Um, but thank you, everybody. Thank you for our busy Delray customer service team members, Winston and Jessica, for joining us as well. I hope that you were able to get uh, the help that you need, and your questions you know, probably also help some other people. So thank you for that as well. Um, I look forward to seeing you guys back here with us on our other webinars and conference calls every single week. Um, but until then, I hope you all have a great, safe, happy, fun week and a wonderful uh, Thanksgiving if I, we don't speak to you before then. Um, and remember, it is our job to make your job of selling travel easier for you. So all of this help and support is always free and it's always part of your home-based business with IntelliTravel.com. So we want to help you grow your travel pot profits and keep asking those great questions. Um, because the more you learn, the more you earn. And we're always going to remind you that as our mantra. Um, so again, thank you, Jessica and Winston, so much. Um, and uh, thank you, everybody, for joining us. And hope you guys all have a great weekend.